Welcome back to another Mood Board Monday. Hello beautiful people, it is your girl Albi. Welcome back to my channel. If you are a subscriber, thank you for rocking with me. And if you are new here, welcome. I am happy to have you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can always know when I have a new video and just be part of the family. I mean, why not? One of the biggest reasons that I got into online interior design was because I knew it would give me access to people that I otherwise would not be able to work with if I were a local in-home designer. This project exemplifies that to like the hundredth degree. So I read the brief and I was like, oh, they're, you know, in New York City, you know, some hometown people. And then I keep reading and I realize, oh snap, they're moving from New York City to Hong Kong. Yes, Hong Kong. Hong Kong, so you're probably figuring, how in the hay are we shopping for this? Fun fact, there are a number of retailers that do operate overseas. Now, that can look differently. Sometimes it can be as complicated as having to get a freight and all those particulars that TBH, I try to avoid. But it can also be as simple as going to that website's browser and switching your delivery country. I chose to focus on two of those retailers in particular, Target and West Elm. Both of them, if you go to their site, they have an international option. And in both cases, I was able to just switch the delivery country to Hong Kong. And it also asks me if I wanna um, convert the currency and all of that jazz. So that makes it easier because on the site, it'll also tell you what items are actually available to get shipped to Hong Kong versus domestically. Awesome. The third retailer that I focused on was Ikea. That was by their request. I love me some Ikea, but they made it clear at the very beginning that they have or well, will have a local Ikea where they were moving into Hong Kong. So I was like, oh, then that's a no-brainer. Like, let's make your life as easy as possible where you can just walk into that Ikea when you get to it and pick up your items. So again, on the Ikea site, I switched it to the Hong Kong Ikea because the color options and assortment changes from country to country. And then we went from there. I put together two mood boards for them because we were working on their living room, kind of, sort of, their entryway and dining room a little bit, as well as what would be their home office and guest bedroom. They were both going to be working in that space, so they both needed a lot of surface area. They both needed a lot of storage. Now, they were already keeping a bookshelf unit as well as a day bed so that was also going in there so i worked around those two pieces that i was able to source the perfect desk and chair combo from ikea that would line up with their window wall so that they could really get that great view work side by side still have their storage there was a nook in the bedroom so we were just going to maximize that with some storage and then have the day bed flanking another wall so that that could be a seating area for them when they're working, but also when they have guests, that's where they're going to sleep. So I had to create what would feel and function like an entryway, as well as tying that space into the pieces that they already have for their living, um, their dining room. The only thing I was sourcing for the dining room was actually a chandelier. Um, otherwise, they already had those pieces, so it was just kind of creating one cohesive look in this just very long space. To also save money in the budget, I decided to go with an IKEA sofa, but we wanted to make it a little bit more custom because this apartment had a very um, distinct British colonial 
type of aesthetic to it and we really wanted to preserve that but while also introducing their preferred modern aesthetic so we went with a pretty modern looking sofa from ikea but i was able to find these awesome um legs that we could switch out and that's probably one of the best things about shopping from ikea because you're building it it lends itself to being way more customizable the complementing pieces were a mix of items from target and west Elm. once we finalized the space plan we were able to finalize our shopping list and confirm what could be delivered what could be picked up and easy peasy one two threes i was able to give them their design board give them their floor plan, give them their shopping list so that once they were in Hong Kong and situated, they can just pull everything together as they needed to. It's crazy how hearing that it's in Hong Kong, you're like, ah what what am i supposed to do with this but it turned out to be one of my least challenging projects one of my favorite projects and just an awesome experience all around okay so that is it for the design i hope you guys enjoyed and it bears repeating subscribe before you go and you can catch the full post on my site link in the description box there's a full blog post you can see the mood boards you can shop the selections yourself yep so i will catch you guys in the next one